All right, uh, number nine, it's not easy filling the queen's shoes, but somebody's got to do it. According to an official royal designer, the queen's shoes must be immediately comfortable. She must never put them on and find any pain or have any trouble walking. Oh, yeah. They must always go on with ease. So if new shoes arrive, a member of the house staff must wear them to break them in before Ugh. Queenie puts them on her royal tootsies. Wow. In 2019, the official shoe breaker inner was revealed to be Angela Kelly, the wow. queen's personal assistant and senior dresser. Kelly shared more in her memoir. She said, we share the same shoe size, so it makes sense. I love that. Uh, Robin, where do you fall on that? Sharing shoes with somebody. No. Somebody else's feet no, in your shoes, it's right? Not. It's a little disgusting. Nope, 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 nope. Really? nope. Even if they're like great shoes? No, it's I'm kind of with her on this one. Gross. Oh. Sweaty and yeah. that's how you break them in. You really go sockless and oh, those yeah. juices yeah. flowing stop. with that leather stretched out a little Seriously, bit. Seriously, stop. Go for a jog around the block and then you turn them <laughs> over to the person. Here they are. I got them all heated up for you. Yeah. They're a little schwitzy, but they'll be just fine. Yeah. All right, number eight. This is a look at some penguins in Antarctica jumping off the sea ice. Oh, oh boy. boy. Look at this. Well, wow, they all just be that follow bad along. The ones who are waiting are probably checking to see if an orca is about to come yeah. along. Yeah, for the most part. Smart ones. Look at they all just follow each other. Look yeah. at Yeah. Bunch of followers. Waiting for the first guy to jump in. I'm going. I wonder what they well, switch well, sides Why are they going over here? I'm going to go over here. No, don't follow Stanley. He doesn't know what he's doing. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to zoom in on this shot also. It'd be nice to see some of their faces. Get there. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, number seven for many fans and critics, The Empire Strikes Back is considered the best of the Star Wars films. So here's what People Magazine said about it back in 1980 when the movie first came out. Uh, they say the more one sees the main characters, the less appealing they become. Oh. Luke Skywalker is a whiner, Han Solo a sarcastic clod, Princess Leia a nag, and C-3PO just a drone. Oh. How do you like that? It's crazy. I guess we really can't trust People Magazine when it comes to art. Yeah. Is the moral of this story. Have you watched those initial ones lately? Do they hold up? Are you a Star Wars guy? Yeah, I, I did, mean, I do remember Empire Strikes Back I really liked. And yeah, back I mean, in the you day. know, the spe it looks like it's 1977, mm -hmm. right? That's when the first one was made. But, uh, you know, it, yeah, I guess. Yeah. What the hell do I know? Is that still your favorite as well? I believe so. <laughs> Out of the three, that's the yeah. one you love the yeah, most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one with a lot of song and dance in it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 I like that. Yep, that's the one. All right, number six. Uh, in Christianburg, Virginia, a music store asked a neighboring store called Super Shoes if they wanted to start a sign war. Oh, yeah. And before you knew it, a Japanese steakhouse and everyone else was getting in on it. Check this out, and it should make more sense. It starts off with, hey, Super Shoes, want to start a sign war? Yeah. And then it kind of goes from there. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of reading. It is yeah. a lot of taunting. Yeah, yeah. 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 that needs mouth. to be carefully oh, yeah. crafted here. Your shoes are your signs. It's a lot of work. The old Kabuki mm -hmm. Japanese Steakhouse really got in on it. You all got just to be clear, you just said Godzilla. that reading is a lot of work. Yeah, that's well, what she it's said. just it's it's hard if I'm you're driving by. I'm not disagreeing with you. I just oh, the pharmacy got in on it. Wow. Anyone else? Come at me, bro. Looking at you, too, across the road. Wow. Well, that really requires people following this sign. Yeah. Because yeah. right? if they just see that sign cold, oh, they don't well, know the what's going on. <laughs> All right. Number five, a simple love test is going viral. It's called the Green Line Test, and it's supposed to know who has the power in a relationship. It's all about the way a person poses with their partner in photos. If the guy is leaning in towards the woman, the oh woman is God. the one in control. But if the woman leans in towards the man, he wears the pants in that relationship. The lean is highlighted with green lines. All right. Someone tested a photo of Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson, which went viral and inspired, inspired other couples to share their results. Uh, I still don't quite get it. I mean, uh, what if they're, they're both kind of leaning into each other? No, nah, he's they? leaning into her, and that's no surprise she's in control. She's got way more money. Yeah. Him I don't get. I don't see what the fascination is with him. Am I wrong? All right. 
Must be charming. Yeah. You know, charm goes a long way, Larry. Yeah, it does. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Number four, <laughs> there's a chance you're opening your English muffin the wrong way. Oh, boy. You don't need to slice it open with a knife. There's an easier way from Southern Living. You place your fingers along the sides yeah. instead of the top and bottom, and you gently squeeze the sides inward with your fingers as you rotate the muffin, and it will pop open. That does not mm -hmm. always work. Really? No. Never tried it. I'm an English muffin gal. Are you? Are you really? And it does not often always work. Do you way. have butter? Squeeze in the PBJ? side. You do a sandwich? How do you have your I sometimes muffin? have a little butter. Oh, that's sounds Sometimes nice. just uh, peanut butter. Yeah. Sometimes this muffin's butter very underrated breakfast Underrated. Food. You never Delicious. really hear those mentioned. Well, they say most English muffins have indentations on the sides. See, how do you tell what's the top and the bottom and what are the uh, sides? It depends uh, on how you lay it down. I don't know. They're all round. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. Try rotate. it, but I mean, have the knife handy. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. right. <sighs> a squeeze and rotate can be used in a lot of things, not just getting the. <laughs> just, you know, right, it's you're true. You're for something to mix it up a little bit. Right. Contract negotiations. Yeah. Yes. I mean, <laughs> squeeze and rotate goes in a lot of different yeah. ways. What other ways specifically are you thinking that, that could be applied? Now, let's just say getting people into a car would be one. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of uses. Uh, getting out of a that. pair of pants that's a little tight, the old squeeze and rotate. Soap on. You can go forever yeah. looking at the details. <laughs> On that. Be creative. In the bedroom, they <laughs> yeah. squeeze and rotate. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you want. Whatever you want to do. Uh, yeah. Number three, the latest trend for men is sleaze fashion. This is the opposite of the coastal grandma look we told you about <laughs> yesterday. I don't remember that one. Uh, think 70s disco meets glam rock. More men working from home now are apparently trying to look like 1970s Mick Jagger. Yeah. Or a character from HBO's Minx. It involves leather pants. Oh, yeah. Flowery silk shirts. Check. Cheetah prints. Yeah. Snake skin and stacked heel boots. But I don't have to tell you, I think a lot of people at yeah. home will, will realize this. There is a fine line between sleazy sexy and sleazy gross. Yeah. You don't want to wear the look head to toe. You're going to look like you're wearing a costume. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I'd like to see you, Larry. It's yeah, Mother's Day brunch. Sleazy. I think I'm going to yeah. try it. Yeah, break Just. it out. Are you this buttoned up on the weekends, too? I feel like I never see you without a tie ever. I mean, what do you, uh, what no, you, what's your uh, you, relaxing no, you wear? A tie he wears weekend. only a tie on the weekend. <laughs> 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 I'm in sweats if yeah. I'm not in this. Define yeah. sweats. Are we talking like drawstring sweatpants with the, you know, yeah, open from, ankle? that are 35 years really? old. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then the snakeskin cowboy boots with that. <laughs> yep, and a flower silk shirt. Yeah. With a bolo tie. <laughs> and a captain's hat. <laughs> God, please. Just Graphics, send me. go ahead and work on that, would you? And Photoshop that for Monday. I'm just going to email your wife and say, please, 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 yeah. just send me a she picture. She has no idea how lucky she is. Oh, my God. Oh, I know. Would you years, call right? her and tell her? I see that I'm not talking to me. She should be on her knees thanking God. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm what sure a she is. Dear uh -huh. All your wives, really. Yes. Lucky yeah. gals. Maybe she should get together with my wife. She uh. doesn't get it either. All these years. <laughs> oh well. All right. All right. Number two, uh, from the Reddit group, confusing perspective. Uh, these are some lamps being sold on the old Facebook Marketplace. How big are they? Yeah. Take a look. Well, I don't even get it. Or I'm not sure either. I just read the words. Yeah. To be honest with you. They look like they're sitting on the grass. Some big. Oh, they're hanging. Oh, these are lights that are hanging. It's just a perspective. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I see perspective. Oh, yeah, see, yeah, see, they right. fooled you. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, I look, see like, they look like they're tents. Yeah, or UFOs. Right. Mm -hmm. They're just closer to them than the yard. Yep. You follow oh, that? Oh, I kind of got it, yeah. All it's right. still very confusing. Perspective. Yeah. Yes. Number one. Anna is featuring the Sound of Music at the Marriott Theater this morning. And back in the mid-2000s, we think Anna worked with Wonder Studios in Park Ridge to tackle the iconic role of Maria. Here you go. Doe a deer, a female deer. So should I take it the high or keep it how we were doing it? I made a little progress in my vocal, but Julie Andrews does more than just sing. Time for staging and interpretation class. Uh, ha, 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 ha. No. 
No. no. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's sorry. All right, Wonder Studios, I've done scales, staging, interpretation. Let's do this thing. No. Her. She's coming up in a second. Yeah. That's the night at nine. Wowie! Na, 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 Take that, Dan Ponce. Yeah. yeah. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Were you on the air? <laughs> no, I think we might be on. I'm sorry. Dan. He's not watching. Chances no, he's are. not. Uh, we're going to be in the midst of his 